What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have been enjoying the heat pump content lately. I put a few of those out back to back, so I thought I'd change it up a little bit today. This is the longer Ray 5 laser. I did a video on this a couple months ago. I've been having a ton of fun with this thing. Uh, I know a couple of you are interested in this because a few of you actually bought this laser using my affiliate link. So if you're one of those people, thank you for that. But uh, just thought I would show you this again. I've added some upgrades. I've been playing around with this a ton. I am having a lot of fun with it. I've actually started a second YouTube channel just dedicated to laser project because I'm having so much fun with it. So uh, feel free to check that out. I'll put a link down below. You don't have to if it's not your thing, but uh, if you want to, great. Uh, I just passed a thousand subscribers actually in the first two months, so it's actually doing pretty good. Um, but one of the accessories I got is this honeycomb kit. This was sent to me by Longer as well. This is uh, kind of a perforated metal base, and basically it allows all this heat from the smoke to go down and away rather than burning the wood. So. Um, if you don't have one of these, it really burns up the edges. If you do have one, it leaves a nice clean cut like that. So this has been helpful. I've also added this air assist tip. Um, it's got uh, air injection, basically. It runs off this little pump over here and just shoots air down in with the laser. Helps it cut a little deeper and again, helps take away the burning and the charring from the laser. So uh, that all ties up to this little ventilation system I've got. This takes the smoke out of my garage. I just have a flex pipe I throw under the garage door, nothing too fancy, but it works for right now. And then it all runs up to this little smart switch. I can control it from my phone or from like a Google Mini, just say turn on the air assist and uh, away we go. So I have another accessory I'm gonna be hooking up today. This is the longer Ray 5 rotary roller. Um, basically this is for engraving like glasses. You can do tumblers, Yeti bottles, um, pretty much anything, you know, round you want to put some engraving on, you can use this. So I'm going to be setting that up. Um, we have to disconnect the laser. The Y axis here actually controls the roller, but first we have to get the laser raised up a little bit. This thing's pretty high. And by the time you put a tumbler on it, uh, the laser doesn't have enough height. So I've been working on a little, leg extension kit here. So basically these legs are gonna replace these black legs. Um, probably not replace, I might just put them right over just so it gives it a little bit of added stability. Um, so they will go on there, and then this is gonna be the front piece to go around the laser because it doesn't have a third leg, it's just sort of resting on this. So that's gonna sit right there. It's gonna line up with those holes if, uh, with any luck, if I've measured properly. So. I'm gonna get that cut out, we'll get that installed, lift it up, and then we'll do some playing around with uh, the roller kit. All right, so that sound is the air injection as well as my fan. I've got everything running. I'm just gonna come over here. I'm only gonna be doing one more leg, so we're gonna hit start on the laser, and away we go. This thing's been really cool. I made a ton of Christmas decorations with this. I also made a couple little pieces of just random things around the house that broke. I needed some really fine cuts, so I made it on this thing, and yeah, it's working awesome. And there we go. So that only takes uh, about a minute to cut out. Press this guy, I don't think I have the settings turned up quite high enough. A couple of these sheets have a lot of glue in them, so I'm gonna grab a little X-Acto knife and just kinda of trim that out, and then uh, probably turn up the heat a little bit for the next cut. There we go. So those turned out to be a pretty good fit. I've got this thing sitting up on three legs. This one was kind of the most complicated to get fit up there. Um, these two holes I cut for, there's like a little zip tie that holds that. I didn't put that on just now, so. That looks like it should work. They're a little thin. It's uh, it's a little bit flimsy, not as bad as I thought it might be, but I'll probably remake those out of something thicker when I get some different wood. This is just three millimeter thick uh, basswood. That's what I had. So we'll get this front leg put on and then we should be ready to get the laser set up. Okay, so there it is all set up. We've got the lift kit essentially installed here. You can see that gives us a nice bit of height over the roller. Now we need to get the roller connected. So we have this little plug right here and all we need to do is unplug this little cable going to the motor and plug this plug into that little extension right there. So the roller actually becomes the y-axis. All the signal that would normally go to this motor is now going to the rotary. It rolls the piece as needed and then it still has the x-axis to go back and forth. So I'm going to get that plugged in. I'll show you the settings we have to change to get it to line up and we should be good. 
Another important detail, you do want to shut the laser off while you're doing this. You don't want it to uh, see it lose that motor. I guess it can get a little confused and you can end up screwing up your laser that way. So turn off the power, pull that plug out. We're just going to plug this guy right into there and we're all set. Okay, so with the rotary plugged in, we now have a set of instructions here. We have to go in and change a couple settings. It's a lot easier than it looks. Uh, I'm gonna pop into the computer for this one and I'll show you how to do it in Lightburn. Okay, so in the laser software, this is Lightburn. Uh, you need to go to machine settings, come down here to output setup and drop that open. It'll be closed if you've never been in here before. Go down to the Y steps per millimeter where you see 80. You're going to change that to 56. That's just a number given to you by longer in the instructions. So make sure the laser is turned on for this and then hit OK. It'll send those new instructions to the laser. Hit yes and you're halfway there. So now we need to go to laser tools and rotary setup. Open up that box and click enable rotary. That's going to give the software the ability to turn that Y axis as a roller. You're going to change this number to 56.52. Again, that's from the provided instructions. And then these other numbers here are going to be dependent on the size of the glass or the tumbler you're doing. So you're going to need to measure it. So make sure you have a little measuring tape or a ruler and get those input. Okay, now we've got our settings set up. Um, if you've got everything plugged in, you should be able to come over here and hit test. I've got a Red Bull can sitting on there. Um, so if you come back in and hit the test button right here, we should have some action. There we go. So pretty easy to get hooked up. Um, this is adjustable. As you can see, there's different notches there if you want to do bigger or smaller items. So I've got it set for the pop can. We're going to have to measure this and then uh, I'm going to get a little file set up and we'll try to do a burn on this uh, Red Bull paint. So bring your mask. All right guys, I got everything set up. I got the Red Bull can measured with the homemade ruler here. Uh, we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna turn the ventilation system on because we're gonna be burning paint off of a pop can, so probably don't wanna breathe that. I'm just gonna put a little smiley face in the blue section of paint there, so uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, well the smiley face is done. Let's have a look here. Turned out okay. It definitely etched through the paint, at least most of it. Wish my camera would focus. Um, so it did actually go on backwards. There's one thing I forgot to do. You need to come in here to the rotary setup and click mirror output to rotary. So not a huge deal on the smiley face, but if you were doing font, the font would show up backwards. Uh, so make sure you hit both of those settings before you go to use the rotary. So um, that turned out okay. I have enough confidence now. I think I'm gonna move on to a tumbler. My son has a little Yeti bottle, so we wanna put his name on it. So uh, the other kids at daycare don't get them mixed up. So I think I'll try that next. Okay guys, I got the Yeti bottle here in the roller. A little bit nervous here. I don't really wanna mess this up. So I put a little bit of painter's tape on there. I'm just gonna run a quick test at about 20% power, hopefully just enough to kind of mark the tape and we'll see how it looks and then we'll do the full uh, burn. Okay, that actually turned out pretty good. Got some, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Um, I had to stretch this out a lot so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here, but I'm using the frame tool just to kind of get the, uh, you know, visually get the roller to move how I want it to. And I've had to stretch the font out a lot. I did adjust the measurements for uh, the size of the tumbler and everything, but I just had to play around with that. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we'll go ahead and peel the tape off and let it rip. Okay, here we go. This one's for all the marbles. I've got the tape peeled off. I've got the settings set to 4,000 millimeters per minute at 80% power. Um, I can always go over it twice if I have to. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Here we go. Well, guys, I kind of screwed this up, not too badly, but as you can see, we have some black lettering instead of stainless. I didn't put the power up high enough or the speed was too fast, so it didn't go right down to the stainless, but rather than uh, try to run it again, I sort of bumped it out of position. So rather than try to run it again and risk having like an overlap or, you know, kind of missing the mark, 
Uh, I just called it quits. It's got his name on it. That is what we wanted. So um, overall, the roller kit's pretty sweet. It works good. I definitely have some uh, trial and error still yet to do to figure things out. I might go to the dollar store, get a couple glasses and some etching spray and see what I can do with that. But it's pretty neat. So if you have a laser already, definitely a good thing to add to your kit. If you don't have a laser and you're just looking for a new hobby, I can't really say enough good things about this. It's been a ton of fun. If you're like a woodworker or just a hobbyist in general, um, this is right up your alley. So definitely pretty cool. I'll put the links to everything down below. I'll put the links to uh, the little lift kit here, just in case you do have a roller and you're wondering how to get your laser up high enough. So yeah, that'll all be down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one and I hope you enjoyed the video.